out of body experience at all playing on the same line as your brother? Yeah, it was. Uh, um, it's kind of it, it was kind of weird, but like you just try to um, sit back and enjoy it and uh, appreciate it because you know I'm 30 years old. And we've never played a game together, so uh, very cool experience. Uh, super happy for him and um, our team to get a win, and it, it was just a great night. And uh, uh, my mom, stepdad, my wife, my son, we're all here, and uh, um, that's cool. You know, you just that's one of the main reasons I like playing this game is because you get a you get to do cool things like that, and uh, um, makes it all worth it. Mom, yeah, uh, my mom's Nancy, and then uh, CY. CY, correct? Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> no, 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 yeah, I, I, yeah, um, uh, Chris Varco, V A R C O. C H on Chris. C H or C O, Varco. Oh, yes, correct. Thank you. Right. What do you do with a half puck? <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll, we'll do something with it. Probably, uh, um, you know, put it in the, uh, the basement or some memorabilia area that uh, um, sometime down the line. Maybe have a couple cold ones over it. You look at the way the team, like you guys have 11 different point scorers on the night. I mean, how important is that depth to show during these two preseason games that you guys have? It's great. It, uh, you know, obviously, there's uh, guys trying to make good impressions and uh, um, guys trying to get their game up to speed and feel good going in the beginning of the season. And um, um, yeah, that's great. Uh, you know, I thought the whole team as a whole played, played really well. And uh, um, as the game went on, we, we kind of settled into our game and uh, um, you know, worked on some of the things that we worked on in practice all week and executed in the game tonight. Uh, it was it was solid. I mean, so so. I mean, I had some downtime, but um, I mean, the shorter the better. Like last year was uh, a lot of fun. So, um, um, I felt. I mean, this is getting kind of personal, but I felt like I accomplished everything I wanted to do over the summer. So, um, family time and uh, see some some buddies and uh, um, and it's good to be back because I, I love being here and I love being with these guys. <laughs> the guys are giving me a so, uh, hard time. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's these skates. So I just got new skates the other week from Steggy, so maybe he uh, put a little, little extra juice in them. Maybe they're a little lighter or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. You brought up that short summer. What's the key for you as the captain of this team to get back to another short summer? Well, not looking too far ahead. Like, uh, we just got to make sure that, you know, we – we learn and we build on the experiences that we had last year because that's definitely important um, for guys that are here and guys that are you know trying to go up to Buffalo and, and compete up there and help them win games. Uh, that stuff's so important and um, um, using that stuff to help us win games in the short term this year, uh, I think that's important. And um, you know, just because we did well last year doesn't mean we're going to do well this year. It's a um, whole different year and. This new guys, it's it's a fresh team, so but uh, have to use those experiences to help us win games, and uh, um, that's probably the most important thing that we can take from last season. How do you go about helping players who just sit down for the first time or just go to Vegas for the first time? Get yeah, I, I mean it's tough. I'm, I'm, you know, I can't speak for them, but uh, from personal experience, you know, it, it kind of takes some of your the wind out of your sails because you. Uh, um, you have to have the mindset of I'm going to make the team and that's all you're looking at and you don't want to think any other way uh, when you're in training camp up there. Um, but, you know, they'll get settled in here, get on the ice, skate, be with the guys and um, um, we'll try to build the team camaraderie so that, um, you know, once we start the season we're going to hit the ground running. And, and I want to, you know, just because guys didn't make the team out of camp doesn't mean that they're not going to be on the team, team up in Buffalo this year either. Are good now more on your back as a team? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know. I mean, it's a fresh, fresh season. I think. Uh, um, a lot of guys back. A lot of them, you know, a lot of the same core is here. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't really. Uh, I think just focus on our dressing room. I, you know, what other teams do. They're obviously trying to compete, and um, 
um, do well this year, and and so are we. I think uh, I don't think much much changes from that standpoint. The next time you guys play at home, you're going to be a fan of uh, for North American champs. I mean, just what does that mean for the group of you guys that are all we're all on that team last year? That are going to be with that? Well, um, you know, there's a lot of history here, and. Uh, there's been some really good teams that have raised banners in this arena and uh, done some special things here. So for us to be in that category, you know, obviously we didn't win a championship, which was our goal, but um, to have accomplished something and have a banner up there is pretty special with, uh, to be with the other teams that have accomplished special things during their seasons here with the Amherst. So what goal you scored? And the other Mersh is down on one knee in front of the net. <laughs> yeah. it, it wonder where you learned that move. I know. I know. Uh, we, had, we had a good laugh over it. Um, super cool experience. Like, you can't, uh, you know, you can't make that type of stuff up. But for, uh, he had a good play getting to the net and causing some havoc there. And I just was able to kind of time it a little bit and get loose for a second and put it in. But, um, you know, Dom stayed with that puck and um, let it squeak open behind the goalie. And I was able to put it in. But... Yeah, it was, it was funny. It, it, you know, it's it, it's uh, um, it, you know, it, it's just great. It's just great. I'm just happy for him. He's able to get a point, and um, um, we were able to do it together. It's great. And uh, you know, the guys have all been really great and um, really embracing us playing together, and they're happy for us. So I also appreciate that too, um, from a team standpoint. So Don looks a little shorter than you. Yeah. And and if you but if you took the numbers. Yeah. Off. yeah. You've got a lot of mannerisms and moves that are quite similar. Yeah, I mean, we are brothers, right? You know, it's... Uh, I mean, still, it's no, six no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We kind of do have a, a similar skating stride. Uh, he's usually been a, a little bit faster. I had a little more jump than I have, but, you know, like you said tonight, I don't know what it was, but... Uh, um, no, yeah, we, we do have a lot of same ten tendencies, and I, I think we play a similar style of game, so... Uh, yeah, it's, um, you know, we skate together all the time, too, yeah. so maybe that has something to do with it. Well, it was, sure, it was fun. Yeah, it was really fun for us, too. It was a great experience, and uh, you know, super appreciative that we got this opportunity. Yeah, great opportunity. Where's your mom? Chicago. Okay. Yeah, well, Chicago, please. So. Chicago proper, or? Um, suburb outside. Okay. So, Park Ridge, it's called.